Jeffree Star upset a lot of people when he tweeted a photo of his new merch design. Here's the image. The tweet reads, Hi, how are ya? Merch coming soon. Looks pretty innocent, right? Well, people were quick to call out similarities to an existing alien design by a smaller artist. One person tweeted this photo and said, This reminds me so much of this from ages ago on Tumblr. The original artist, at HeyMonsterArt, replied, It's mine. I did it. They even barely cropped my Tumblr URL in this image. Other people were shocked and tagged Jeffrey in comparison images of the two designs. Here are some of the tweets. So what do we think? Jeffrey Star's design on top of Hey Monster Art artwork? Not perfectly aligned, but you get the idea. The bones and muscles on neck and chest are exactly the same. That's impossible if it was original. Jeffrey should have a real talk with the designer. The flower crown is traced. That's a big no-no. Jeffrey should remove the designs and potentially other designs as well. If the artist did this and is making him look bad, there is no reason to stand up for them. Jeffree Star reached out to the original artist the next day and said, Hey Monster Art, literally had no idea and I would never back this thievery. The image has been deleted. The person who made this will be fired today and I'd love to reach out to you directly to discuss art or just to personally say sorry because I'm horrified at this situation. The artist replied, Thank you for your swift response. I really appreciate it. I know you didn't personally have a hand in this, and the fact that you acknowledged and took responsibility so quickly speaks volumes. Jeffrey said, I woke up completely shocked and sad because the same thing has happened to me over and over throughout the years, and I would never want to make another person feel that way. What is the best way to contact outside of Twitter? And the artist said, I'll send a DM. Thank you again. Fans were really happy with the way Jeffrey handled the situation, and Hey Monster Art made a final statement, saying, So at Jeffree Star has since taken down the preview image and apologized for what happened. I understand that JS themselves had no idea that this was going on, and their response serves as a perfect example of how to react to this kind of situation. Thank you to those who alerted me, and thank you to Jeffree Star for being thoughtful and professional in their response to something that is never fun for anyone. I was definitely in my feelings when I first saw, but I never wanted this to turn into a nasty mess. I'm grateful that this could be resolved so quickly. Just like Hey Monster Art said, Jeffrey was very professional about the situation. He deleted the tweet with the preview of the design, fired the employee who traced the art, and apologized to the artist. Seems like things ended perfectly, right? Well, only with Jeffrey Star. Amidst the drama, Hey Monster Art explained his alien design was ripped off by the popular mall retailer Hot Topic and others said it was ripped off by users on Redbubble. This opens up a huge conversation about art theft and the line between inspiration and imitation. Before we go into when copying isn't okay, let's talk about when copying is okay. Many artists would agree that when you're learning and figuring out how to improve your art, it's okay to reference other artists. Oil painter Happy D Artists explains. Well, I believe that art is very similar to music. Um, it's really hard to uh, begin practicing and improving and feeling inspired without first um, looking at other artists and consuming other art. I don't think there's anything wrong with being inspired by other artists. However, I think a lot of young artists who are just new to social media perhaps don't quite understand where the line is drawn. Um, there definitely is a boundary that people usually should not cross. And that boundary is the difference between being inspired by someone and straight up just copying slash plagiarizing someone. So when is it considered copying? Copying is a form of plagiarism and copyright infringement. It's when you take something without permission and pass it off as your own work. Inspiration happens when you borrow ideas to form something new. Let's analyze Hey Monster Art's situation. Here are images from multiple users on Redbubble. There was no inspiration here. They just took the art without permission and passed it off as their own by removing at Hey Monster Art's watermark. That's plagiarism and copyright infringement. It's also fraud in this case, because these Redbubble users are profiting off the artwork. Here's an image of the alien mug Hot Topic is selling. Many would agree it's inspiration because the same tagline is used, but the art style and flower placement is different. And finally, the design from Jeffrey's employee. 
Since the alien's figure and flower crown is almost a mirror image of the original, many would agree this piece falls under plagiarism, or imitation. But what about the new elements the employee added in? Doesn't that make it a new piece? Technically speaking, yes. But since Jeffrey hired and paid this employee, the art isn't considered a tribute to Hay Monster art. Instead, it's considered fraud, as the design was made for financial profit. To give you more insight on the topic, let's go back in history to analyze the boundary between imitation and inspiration. Here's an example from a Renaissance painter in the 1860s. Edouard Manet's The Luncheon on the Grass was inspired by Claude Monet's Le Déjeuner sur l'herbe and the figure's poses are borrowed from Marcantonio Raimondi's Detail of the Judgment of Paris. This is an example of inspiration. Manet didn't directly copy the bodies and faces from Raimondi's painting line for line, and Manet also didn't directly copy the outdoor scenery from Monet's painting. Instead, Manet is borrowing and mixing ideas to create something new. The concept is still an outdoor lunch, but the end result looks completely different from both paintings. There's no aspect in Manet's painting that is identical to the other artworks he referenced. So back to the present. Why is copying more prevalent today? Because of digital art and fast fashion. Many artists now post their art online to share with their fans or to sell on different products, which makes it really easy to steal with a simple screenshot. And fast fashion demands for fast art. Stores are replenished daily. From the streets to the runway, the latest trends are scoured and can go from a sketch to the rack in as little as three weeks. Meaning the designers need to push out art quickly that will attract their younger target audience. And an easy and quick way to do that is to find artists who have similar audiences and take their ideas. We saw this happen with users on Redbubble. But the worst part is, this happens with big fashion retailers that we all know. Trendy clothing is cheaper than ever, and cheap clothing is trendier than ever. And this is largely thanks to the rise of so-called fast fashion retailers that produce stylish, incredibly low-cost clothing like H&M, uh, Zara, and Forever 21. Back in 2016, Zara was called out for copying pin designs from indie artist Tuesday Basson. It's clear that Zara's knockoff is almost identical with very minimal changes to colors and font. When the artist contacted Zara, they rejected her claims, arguing that the lack of distinctiveness of your client's purported designs makes it very hard to see how a significant part of the population anywhere in the world would associate the signs with Tuesday Basson. I'm pretty sure Tuesday Basson doesn't own the concept of a heart-shaped lollipop and an eraser, but the detailing and her artistic style is clearly different from how others may approach it. Design consultant Farouz French explains that Zara's response tells us there are still corporations out there who will make independent artists feel worthless and without defense against such prominent brands. The only hope for these plagiarized artists is to establish enough of a fan base for their designs to be easily recognized when they're replicated, with the hope that big brands will stop this blatant form of copying. While Jeffree Star did not treat Hey Monster Art this way, I still feel it's important to address the issue for other artists whose work gets stolen by unethical brands. And this brings us back to the thieves on Redbubble who steal from smaller artists for financial gain. Why doesn't Hey Monster Art sue those artists? Unfortunately, not many artists win these cases for reasons like not trademarking the concept. For example, in the 1990s, California glass artist Richard Satava filed a lawsuit against Hawaiian glass artist Christopher Lowry, who began producing jellyfish glass and glass sculptures that looked very similar to Satava's. The district court judge ruled against Satava, explaining he could not copyright the idea of producing glass jellyfish sculptures, and Lowry simply followed a concept rather than copying. So you can see, if Hay Monster Art took this case to court, there's a chance he may lose the case because he doesn't own the concept of an alien. So what can we do to help artists? Reach out to the company or person that allegedly stole the art and let them know they've plagiarized and should take the design down. And inform the original artist about the theft so they can deal with the issue further. There is a chance they'll take down the design, similar to what happened with Jeffree Star and Hey Monster Art. And finally, support independent artists instead of fast fashion brands like Zara and Forever 21. Overall, Jeffree Star has proven he cares about good ethics in business. Art theft is inevitable in the digital world, where screen capture and editing software is readily available for everyone. It's become much harder for independent artists to grow and make a living because their designs appear to be stolen by big companies that can afford to sell it cheaper. 
As design consultant Farouz French proposed, is the fashion industry enabling the plagiarism of independent designers? What are your thoughts on imitation versus inspiration? Let me know in the comments below.